Hello and welcome, this is S Tier Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Uh, let's see, so we last left off with this breaking camp as our next adventure. Um, this was to clear the goblin encampments for Clara Beaumont. And the suggested level is just level 2, so I assume we could go ahead and wipe that one out real quick and maybe we'll get enough money to uh, get us to uh, buying the next set of flower pot, flower pot tables. Checked on my words a little bit there. Um, I want to get this the five small pot table and the, the one as I think three medium. So we'll go ahead and oops, there's a board back here. Warning, dug box hiding. Be careful. <laughs> Who lived here, I wonder? Wonder if I've already cleared this one. Revelio. But there's a hey, here's something. Oh, here's some more money. Here we go. Alright, time to clear these camps. Oh, here's another mobile area. Alright, goblins. You gotta go, buddies. Let's see what kind of fight am I getting into? Level 22. Those camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Slice a frozen enemy. All right, let's see. We could totally do that. Oops. Complete the battle. Beat it just in time. Your blood like. on Ranrock's hands. Wow, that was tough. One camp down, one more to go. I really didn't think I would beat it in time. Revelio. Let's see. There's gonna be something else. Maybe I've already cleared this area once before. Nothing in here. I don't think so. This is an interesting looking machine. Looks like a earth cruncher. Like a real life one actually, I believe. There's some that have a very similar head to this one. These rocks have seen better days. Oh, here's some stuff. Revelio. Give me the bag. Give me the loot. Incendium. There we are. Revelio. Ah, interesting. Confringo. Oh, cool. Uh, let's see. Rebellion. Anything else up here? I don't think so. I'll knock this one down too. 
wonder if this could have got their attention. A scholar's robe. But alas, it's not good enough for an upgrade. At least all this stuff could be sold. I probably have enough money now to get the uh, thing I wanted, so. The flower pots. Alright, let's go seek out some more trouble. One less human to worry about. Hmm, this might be an interesting combo. Let's try it. Oh, I'm missing all these casts. Oh, that just launched them. See if we can get a stupefy in. Oh. Missed that one up. power. Like how these other people are just kind of casually walking by while all this death and destruction's going on. <laughs> just like, oh, you know, okay then. Oh yeah, cruising the world. Ah, here's this annoying building that I couldn't get the treasure out of. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. Oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Bardolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. I should be going now. Thank you. Okay, short and sweet. Thank you. Sincerely. Stag skull decoration. Oh, look at this crazy snake instrument thing new instruments are expensive you know all right cool let's see how much money we have now i think we gotta be pretty close and if things to sell I might be able to get this small pot um let's see i'll look at this building one more time with fresh eyes and see if i can figure out a way to get in Uh oh, I accidentally drank my potion. Rebellion. Should have used that during the fight. All right, more lucky. Confringo. 
Expelliarmus. <laughs> That's not going to work. I'm still thinking there's got to be something special that gets me in there, like that door's got to open somehow. Maybe it comes up in a quest or something, but I guess we'll just leave it be. Let it be a little mystery for now. Alright, let's go back to Hogsmeade and we will get us. Um, let's see, we're not looking for potions, we're looking for tomes and scrolls. There we go. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? My advice when dealing with Uncle Wolf. Alright. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. I think we have just enough to sell that we'll be able to make it. This one is dead even with something else I have. Wow, we're just shy of the 3,000 we need for the medium pots. Um, let's see. The five small pots, so I think will be just Nothing as useful. Like finding just the right thing, is there? We still need to get the chopping station, too. I may get that instead of Let the me know if medium pots. Um, we'll see. Let's go to the room of requirement and see what we can harvest and rearrange to the maps. And here we go. All right. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Good. Here we go. See, I don't think I have anything to investigate. Okay. Let's go in here and check out our harvest. I think I can take on these Maximo potions now. Oops. Come on, Mellow Sweet. I guess I'm full on it. I'm still full on that too. All right. So let's see. We need to get out our conjuration. Okay. And where are we at? Oh yeah, here we go. Is this any bigger? Oh, it looks like it is bigger. Okay. We're at our budget, unfortunately, so we need to take something else up. Um, these are only a minute out, but Flex Sweet just doesn't take that long, anyways. I think that the Mallow Sweet. Okay, we had already replanted it. Um, I guess the Flex Seed is the thing that makes the most sense to magic away, so. We've actually got to pull it out first. I do like that they have that little safety mechanism, you know. There we are. And now let's check out this guy. It's interesting how it's a different form than the others. It's a little frustrating because if we want to, you know, optimize our layout, this is gonna be the oddball the crowd. Let's see what can be playing in here. Oh, four of our things can be. Let's see. I think that's large. I got two larges, two mediums. Okay. Well, interesting. So I think that we had flux weed in the two that we took out. I I thought so. Oh, it was a large plant. I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, 
Dittany, Malasweet, Mandrake, and Knotgrass. Huh. Let me see. And they're medium. Okay. Kind of feel like moving Mallow Sweet into there. There's also five. So we could go ahead and pull this one. And in here, let's go ahead and do like two Mandrakes. about three actually and we'll put two knot grasses in here okay now where are knot grasses at go ahead and pull that all right what is this one another knot grass okay and let's see, Dittany, Dittany, Shovel Fig, Shovel Fig. So I could do, let's see, two and two of these would be 10 plants total. And then across four, that would be, um, all of them could have two, and then two of them would have three. Well, Two of them would have two, that'd be four, and then two of them would have three, and that'd be ten. And I could leave that to, um, I don't know. I don't know if there's a big difference between not grass and the other one, but I think we're going to be collecting so much that it'll be worth it. So I think that I should probably have Nesco away this table next, and we'll put up another small table. And let's start planning. So, got mandrakes and not grasses in that one. And we need to get Dittany and Mallow Sweet. So, Wiganweld and Maryland Trials. So, how about three Dittanys? And on the Mallow Sweet, we'll put on some fertilizer. There you go. So that's less tables and I think overall more productive than our other way. Um, we could move that other big table out into over here. Just trying to think those medium tables are probably going to cause a similar disturbance in our setup, however. So, hmm. I'm betting that they're just totally different in their layout too. Let me think. We got the Chinese chomping cabbage just heading heading out here. Hanging. <laughs> oh, I can't talk. Too tired. Uh let's see. It's possible this Alco would be a good area though for medium and small tables, like two of them, so Maybe just in preparation for it, we'll go ahead and move this one over and we'll see about if this plays out or not. Okay. In the meantime, we could probably grow something else about some flux weed. I'll make up for the ones that we pulled earlier. And we can pull out the Dittany too and put in some more flux weed because I think that's something that we need. Okay. And all this can just kind of hang out while we wait to do the medium tables. So if we do two medium tables, that would be, um, let's see, three large, two mediums and two of these and 
the mediums, that would be up to six. So we could do three Chinese chomping cabbages and three of the flux weeds at once. Um, I think that'd be plenty. And then we'll leave the larges for the tentacula and whatever the other one was. Um, I think I kind of like that balance. Two, two, and three. So that'd be six of those as well. I don't think it's not necessarily the, uh, you know, optimal per se, but it'll still be pretty good. I think I'm going to put up a couple of these just to make the room a little bit tidier. And I don't know, making nine potions surely will be plenty. See if we can move this over a little bit closer. There we go. Oops, didn't mean transform it to twist it. There we go. Are these actually across from each other? Maybe. Roughly. Okay. This will be nice. I think it, the others are crowding up the room a little. And let's go ahead and move these against the wall and then maybe we'll be able to fit the medium ones um, in between them. And if not, that's okay. Just trying to make it look a little bit more open in here. I like the line of rain clouds going all the way across to you. All right. Um, yeah, this is feeling pretty nice. So two of these tables will go away, and let's just say it was this one and one of these. We could turn one of them, um, make it kind of like a U shape or something. I think it'd be more interesting. And um, I want to go in here and see if in the vivarium we could do some more harvesting off of all of our pets here, because. Um, we're going to need a lot of stuff, you know, from them as well. So let's see. Should all be fed. Oh. Oh, it's eating. Okay. I guess that they eat first thing when you come in. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to zap you, buddy. All right, give me the fur. Okay, well you've been loved. I go eat. All right, where are my birds at? Uh, this bird hasn't had food yet. Okay, which one of y'all need to go eat? We need to go eat. <laughs> give me your fur. All right, bird. Come on. Okay, let's see. Where did our other bird go? Here it is. I think it's already ate. It's actually a moonstone growing in here. Look at that. There's a little cave, too. That's cool. They can actually go in it. Well, that's neat. Hey, there's a treasure back here. Well, that's just crazy. Rebellion. I had no idea. If there's anything else in this room. I might end up just playing in the room of requirement today. Who knows? Um, I haven't really explored that much of it, so... It's nice. I wonder if we actually get up here, or is this a hard barrier? Oh, you can actually go back here. Fairly good way. I see it. This rock looks like the hard barrier, though. Oh, there's some leaping toadstool out here. Oh, didn't quite make it. All right, let's see what we can conjure now. 
Right, what is this? Breeding pen. Outdoor items. So I can see if any of them have some sort of ability that sounds like it could be useful. Yeah, none of these sounded like they'd be particularly helpful. Like it, like they don't seem to do anything. Um, ruined high stairway. By here. Okay. I think I'm good to hold off for now. Let's make sure we've harvested everything. There we go. That little guy's eight. Everybody's eight. And I think that everybody checked the birds. Oh, there's a little path up here. Let's see what's up here. I wonder if there's a high spot that we can kind of look over the area with. That'd be cool. Revelio. Oh, nice. That kind of makes it worth coming in here just to be able to harvest a few things, you know? I wonder if we have enough that we could do a couple clothing upgrades so that we make progress on um, those challenges. I'm pretty sure I've got a couple. Oh, there's another high area over here too. Let's go look up here in case there's more eggs. Uh, let's see, I think they can crawl up here. Rebellion. There's definitely something back here. Alright, more eggs. Um, assume we can charge over here. Well, there's more adventure to be had in here than I thought there was. Low stone stairs. Nice. Okay. I guess that's good for now. Let's head back into the room of requirement. Nice. I'm getting these free potions is awesome. We even got some moonstone ready to go to. Alright, so. Let's look at our challenges and see about the clothing upgrades. Um, so we need to do 10 more upgrades and rescue 20 beasts to get conjuration spellcraft. And we don't know what that one is. Okay, well nothing I can do there then. Let's check these. Let's keep doing it as long as it makes this progress and it's a grind. Oh, I don't have any deer claws. I think it, we've done everything at this point. Just want to double check. All right, how about traits? Trait slot level three. I'm getting a fair amount of different traits here. Ambush three, significantly increase spell damage while concealed by disillusion. Well, that's cool. All right, um, so I don't think we have quite enough inventory to make it worth going uh, selling stuff again, no. We don't really have anything to sell. I think that we already have all of our optimal wear on, but let's double check. Okay, we're good. 
Let's see what's new on our inventory pages. The Doug Bog warning. You can just straight up destroy it. That's interesting. How many others you can just destroy? I don't know what happens if you destroy it, actually. Like, now I'm curious. <laughs> okay. I guess that's it. <laughs> Just gone. Alright. Ah, uh, there's our five small pots. Okay. And we are so close to leveling. Let's see what we have on the old quest marker here. Could go running around Hogwarts looking for the rest of the keys. I have no idea where they're going to be. Um, let's look at our map. Oh, there's something down here. At the boathouse. Murky depths. Randall Roberts is sitting on the docks of a Hogwarts boat house. I should go speak with her. Yeah, why not? Um, let's track that and then warp here. Hoping it won't be a super long time nice before I can you, get the um, rest of those keys and uh, get enough money to get the medium pot so that I can have that part of the main requirement then. Well, that was sad. I bet there could be a key down here at the boathouse. It's certainly an area that I haven't really spent time in. That's a ways away. We'll take our time getting there. I don't think I've been down this way at all, actually. Imagine having to walk up these stairs, like, after a boat ride. Good thing they have all their trunks and belongings brought up. Revelio. Hmm. Thought for sure we'd see a little bit of treasure around here. Gotta be something near the boathouse, especially with its significance in the uh, Harry Potter movies. Just leave it at that. No spoilers. There we go. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. We'll activate the quest in just a minute. Just thought it would be good to come in here and check out other stuff. Confringo. Oh, we get a page for that. Nice. Oh, I think we completed the challenge. Oh cool. Let's look at what we got. Oh, a gear print sword. Hogwarts or Gilly Ensemble. Ensemble. Revelio. Let's see, I don't see anything else really. And then whatever this blue thing on the outside is. Let's see. Oh, it's just the fast travel. Okay. Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. 
I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we dueled in the Crossed Ones Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. How has Wizardkind fallen short in its treatment of Mer people? Well, we've consistently deigned Mer people as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the Ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? What do you imagine a liaison to the Mer people would do? Oh, so many things. I want to know everything I can about them. After I've mastered swimming, I perfect my mermish, of course. And I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about wizard kind. My hope is that by understanding each other better, both of our societies could grow. What is it about the mer people that interests you so much? I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumor is that tales about them have infiltrated even the muggle world. The oldest known mer people, sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has selkies and Ireland is home to Merrows. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The last thing I want is for them to think I'd shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. <laughs> this is interesting. We can actually go to their cave. I would have thought we couldn't have explored much more than the surface level of the water. So this is cool if it works. Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Narada an artifact? Confringo! Alright, time to sign again. So. Get Lumos here. Loom now then, I'll need you to come with me. Another butterfly? Looks like we'll need all three of them. Yep. Now yeah. for the rest of you. Interesting, it doesn't actually cut through it. Lumos. Find it interesting, he doesn't say uh Nox when he Puts the light out. Harry Potter does. There we go. We don't have to fight these mermaids. What do we have in here then? Narada will be happy about this. Well, hmm. Revelio. Well, this is a really short trip.
hope the mermaid people don't mind. Your gift from the mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. Then I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard. It's marvelous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the ministry. Should I hand deliver or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. <laughs> I can't wait to study this. Oh, cool. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm hey. pleased to be included. You leveled up. That added 85 HP. Nice. Okay, let's see. Just want to check and see if there's anything else to clear off. Oh, I guess I missed something. Sorry, the scrolling on this is so fast it's hard to see. Ah, here it is. There we go. Nice. All right. So where else? Actually, let's see what about this Confringo. Oh, it's Defendo. Cast slices. Cast slice through impacted enemies to strike additional targets. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see, rest of momentum that has a curse effect. Let's see if there's anything in the core that we want. Perfect Protego, unblockable, wig and weld, wig and weld, ancient magic throw. Okay. Stealth has an area of impact ability, and let's see about the room requirement. Additional damage. Ah, uh, Thunder Brew could be improved. Okay, Maxima. No, I really don't know about this. Um, I think I'm going to think about this talent point before I spend it on anything. Alright, let's look at the map, see whatever missions we can find. Might be another fun little side mission to do. The Hall of Hero Herodinia, maybe? Herodina? I'm not sure. It's funny, flanking. Franklin seems like she could use my help. She's near Charms class in the lounge. Should have probably ran through Hogwarts to try to find those keys, but we'll do it this way for now. I prefer they not be allowed to attend. Couldn't agree more. Not to mention, it exposes us to their backward way of thinking. I didn't hear anything. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way, and I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, 
One cannot access it unless one knows De Pulso, which, of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting De Pulso? She once saved orphans from a wild graphhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. What ends up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while, just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually banished herself. No one knows for sure. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Hall of Herodiana. Oh, no, I was on and mute for a little while. As I was saying, that was an interesting uh, little animation. And uh, Rebellion. I wonder if we're going to have any fights. It did say, you know, puzzles, but it almost looked like it could be a fight in here. See if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was. Hmm. I see. The switch reset everything. Good to know. Interesting, okay. Okay. So I just gotta depulso these around, I guess. Let's see if we can get over here and get this treasure. Uh, diamond debonair ensemble. Oh, it's just not working. There we go. So this will just be a series of sliding block puzzles, I guess. That chest looks that wasn't too hard. What's next? Alright, we got the cape. Revelio. Oh. Thought there might have been something up there, but maybe not. All right, what do we have here? Oh, did that wipe me out? It did. Fascinating. Um, let's see, I think that we could maybe sling that over. Hey, looks like there is a chest over there. Well, how do we get up there? That's gonna be tricky. Um, we sling that over. That's gonna be too far. Yeah. So, 
Let's try out like that, maybe. No, we can't actually climb. That's cool. Huh. I might see a way to make this work. I'm always bad at puzzles like this. Alright, so now if I sling this over here, we can definitely get up there, but what I'm curious about is can we get all the way over there? I think we can. That send it all the way over? It does. Now, I think somehow we can maybe land that block over this way. That would be good. Um. Okay. And we'll sling it down this way. And then once more, I think it will be able to climb. There we go. Well, it turns out it wasn't really worth it. <laughs> it's all right. Ah, yeah, that's not gonna matter because we're just gonna see this one. next room. After that, we'll be done with the quest. Assuming it's not much harder than that one is. Ah. This one already looks like it's going to be harder. Alright, we've got a two-piece. And looks like limited floor. Huh. Okay. Somehow, we need to get up in there, and it's going to be blocked if we try to go that way. Looks like somehow we need to get it out over that way. Hmm. This doesn't make immediate sense to me about how, how we could possibly do that, but maybe there's something down here we can take a peek at. Could be that it's two blocks and it just looks like it's one. Perhaps. No. I can't get out of here, can I? Am I just stuck? Oh, here we are. Okay. I guess the first step is getting it out here somewhere. And let's see. Does this make any difference? Maybe. No, it didn't. Now we should be able to sling it over. Yep. And then sling it right through. There we go. Now I should be able to get over there and get that treasure. All right. So, let's see. How would I actually make it all the way over there, though? Somehow I have to make my way up there. I mean, can I ride it? I wonder if I can put uh, a resto momentum on it.
Arresto momentum. Depulsor. Accio. Arresto momentum. Accio. No, I think it's too fast. Arresto momentum. Accio. Yeah, it doesn't seem to matter. Okay. How am I going to go across this? Rebellion. I don't think I'm meant to get up on that. If I sling it over there and sling it, it's just going to get stuck. I just don't see any advantages to that approach. Now if it's here... Hmm. Maybe I can quite literally just strike this part of it. That'd be hilarious if it works. <laughs> I don't think it's going to though. I think I get it now. So I can get it over here and use it as a uh, step once I get on the far side, I think. Okay. I actually meant to send it the other way, so this might not work, but let's see. Yeah, I'm ultimately going to have to send it all the way back. Alright. Let's try again. This time I'll try to be a little bit more careful. Alright, got to send it that way. And then... And then let go like this. And then we'll pull it. Oops. Try again. I don't actually have to get down there to do any of this. All right, so found the pull. Oh, darn it! I did it again. I don't know why I keep doing that. All right, third time's the charm. Ah, this is where the problem is. Um, I need it to line up there, actually. How do we do this? This isn't making any sense. Um, let's see. See, I thought I could like get it over here and then send it over there, but it, that doesn't make sense either. I'm actually a little bit stumped. Um, I can't. This way. Nope. Thought maybe it would give us a separate piece, but no. I think it's just kind of stuck here, isn't it? I don't think it, this gains us anything per se. Um, let's just go ahead and send it on. I mean, maybe I really am supposed to ride it somehow. Uh, hmm. 
I'm pretty sure I can't use one Guardian Leviosa too, so let me see. Let me just look up a solution for this one because I don't want to spend too much time on it. can actually let me see let's see this one actually may involve a change in elevation that I didn't anticipate so sitting across from the block starting position use Accio to bring them forward to the wall Ah, okay. I see now. This is what I was messing up with sending it over. I should have done this. Okay. And next. Um let's see, cast your pulse pulse oh, send the blocks. The cube on it, hop on the non movable block. She left and go to the one furthest away. Okay. So maybe this really is this walking over. Okay. Now we can hop over. Okay. And then we could do a reset. Okay. Here we go. Wow, that was actually pretty good. That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Herodiana Byrne after all. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. Revelio. Oh, nothing else, I guess. Why do students always run when Peavesy wants to have some fun? All right, be up here in just a minute. We'll complete this quest, maybe swing by the room of requirement and uh, we'll close out the stream shortly after. Everyone pulls off their broom at least once. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible. Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! All right, I'll settle for second favorite. I like that there was a yes, but there'll be a fee. Uh, let's see. So do you have the appearances? So that's cool. I thought there was one more that we needed to click on for a hover over. Maybe not. Okay. Let's see what's in our inventory. And we'll wait on the talent, check out our gear. Okay, it's just a downgrade. I think both of these are too. At least we got a couple hundred back though from that. 
so don't worry about selling that now so for now let's just go to uh, the room of requirement and let's see out of curiosity what's this other mission how ah, the pulso puzzle room too secret pulso training room in hogwarts well we'll do that next time summoner's court match to you huh wonder who it is all right, let's find our room requirement. Really need to activate all of the warp points around Hogwarts. I guess I'll have a handful left to do. I think next stream I'm going to try to do some more of the Merlin's trials too. I'd like to get um, more storage and everything. use our maximum potion so we can brew something else. There we go. We don't have any unidentified. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Thanks, Deke. Good harvest. Okay, so I need to use those up. I don't think we have much of a need to brew any given potion, but maybe we can make some. Um, we had 22 Wigan Welds, so how about some Endurus? We'll try to get to uh, full up on every potion. We already got Maxima. So, how about visibility? Let's check our gear. Um, looks like we got plenty of invisibility in Thunder Brew, so let's start with Thunder Brew. Oh, I need Reach Cheese. Let's go with invisibility. Really need to start using potions some. So, I've almost got a plentiful supply of stuff, so. I'm like, why not? Okay, um, these don't take long at all. Oh, am I full? Oh, I am. Adurus. Um, oh, it's only a dozen. Okay. So we just dump the ingredients? What happens here? Destroy the potion. Okay, I guess that those parts are just gone. Get us a few more invisibility and hopefully not go overboard. see how many more do we need on the invisibility. We're at 8, so this will be 9 and 10, and 11. So, yeah, we can do one more. Almost there. I think this might be the first one to finish. Yep, I think so. Three, two, one. It's pretty fun. Okay, it's 24 seconds and we'll have that. Anything else we need to brew? It's like we're just needing focus and 
thunder brew, but we need to get a bunch of dug bog tongues and a bunch of leech juice. Cinch of the dead seems like it'd be hard to collect enough of that. Hmm. Okay. I really think up to nine potions at a time is pretty good. I mean, by the time one of these, you know, these are such short brews anyways, that by the time you uh, have all nine of them populated, I think it'd be time to harvest, you know, one of them, so. Okay, none of these are gonna be ready. Mandrake is just hanging out. So let's go see if any of these are finished. I think it's gonna be a while, yep. Same story here, but maybe the fertilizer we can grab. Okay. Well, perfect. I think that puts us at a great spot to end for the day. So let's go ahead and roll credits. Say thank you for watching. This has been ST Rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube. And I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.